Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded. I've been slacking. But in today's video, I will be decorating a cake. I actually saw this cake on Pinterest right here. And I've been wanting to do it. I just haven't made the time to do it. So I finally chose today. And we're basically just going to decorate the cake. I already um, baked the cakes this morning. So they've already been cold. They've already chilled for the basically like the whole day. So now we just have to cut them and start stacking them and decorating them so we're gonna go ahead and get started but before i do my name is emma for those of you that are new and for those of you that are returning welcome back so let's go ahead and jump into this cake video tutorial don't know what it's called but let's just go ahead and get started so for starters i have this bowl my fruit bowl right here because with the tripod you can't see the cake so i'm gonna go ahead and get started and I also freaking forgot to buy a cake plate so I have to use my plates don't forget to wash your hands before you start touching everything so before I get started I'm gonna go ahead and cut my cake so we get all this off right here to make it even so let me go ahead and do that Okay, so now I already cut all the cakes. I also forgot to mention I did four um, small cakes. So I used one cake box for two cakes. And I also made fresh, um, well not fresh, but is it fresh? I don't know. Um, buttercream. So for this, all you're going to need is, of course, your cake, your buttercream. I also have one of these um, they're for like ketchup and stuff but I have it for this because of the cake that I'm gonna use and then I also got red food coloring that's all we're gonna need so buttercream something like this or you could use a spoon or whatever I just find this easier to do the that drizzle like that so now that I have my cake here I'm gonna go ahead and put some frosting on it and then start frosting my cake and for the layer middle layers you can put as much frosting as you want as little as you want um, my family is not really like a frosting person. Like they're not, not person frosting people. So I don't put that much on the inside. I put like a tiny bit. So let's get to frosting. Put that one to the side. Then we're going to grab another cake. And for this, I'm going to face the piece that I cut. I'm going to face it down to this to make this side more even. Then all you have to do is make sure it's centered with the one at the bottom. And then that's it. Then we're going to place some more frosting and do the same thing and repeat the process. We're literally going to repeat this process just like three times. Because I have, well, yeah, like three times because I have another two layers that I want to put on top of the cake. Some more frosting. I haven't baked a cake in like forever. I feel the last time I think I baked a cake was for my best friend's birthday, which was in August. So it's been a while since I baked a cake. I need to do it. I was like, you know what? Since I haven't baked in so long, I was like, let me do a Halloween cake. So that's what we're doing. Now with this one, I am going to put it the flat side down and then the same thing with this, I'm gonna put the cut side down as well. I feel like it helps the cakes, um, I feel like it helps them look more leveled if you do it that way. I could be wrong, you could do it whichever way, but that's just the way I like to do it. So that's how I place them down. And then we're just gonna get some more frosting, but yeah. So like I was saying, I have not done a cake in so freaking long and I love baking like that's like my thing, but I haven't done it in so long. I need to get back on it though because I miss it, especially now that it's now that it's um getting cold. I love that's like when I really, really bake. It's like when it's cold outside. Going with the last layer. Put that right there dust off the excess from our hands 
And then the next thing you're going to do when you have everything on here, you need to pick it up. I would recommend pick it up and turn it around and see. Like right now, I placed these kind of messed up on purpose so you can see. So if I pick up the cake and start turning it, clearly you can see it's not straight, right? So that's since the frosting is still soft, it's not hardened. You can just push it over, make it as straight as you want it. Needs to be a little bit more straighter and then you just push it. But be gentle because you can tear the cake if you are too rough with it. That looks a whole lot better. So I'm going to wash my hands real quick and then we're going to continue to frost the cake. Now that we are done stacking our cakes and making sure they are stacked properly, we're going to start frosting the rest of it. Then you just go over. Now also since we're going to use um, red food coloring from the top, you don't have to put too much frosting on the top unless you really like frosting like that. Since I'm actually going to put that red drizzle on the top of it, I'm not going to put too much on it because I don't want it to be too, um, too sweet. So I'm just going to put a little bit. So I'm basically crumb coating the top if you know what that is, which is basically just putting a thin layer on it that'll fill and then it also fills in all the little holes that the cake might have. So that's what we're gonna do, basically just crumb coat it. And the side, we're gonna put the frosting like we're supposed to. So we're just gonna run. And the same thing, you can put as much frosting on the side. If you don't, you don't have to since we are gonna use different food coloring. I mean, um, a different color to darken up the side. So um, actually, the one on Pinterest looks like it has more frosting. But I think for this one, I kind of want to do a naked cake and then do the the drizzle on it. Or the, well, technically it's supposed to be blood. So we'll say blood. But, so I think I'm going to do this as a naked cake and then do that. And what a naked cake is, in case you don't know, a naked cake is basically like that. Like you put frosting on, but you don't actually cover it like normal frosting or like you would a normal cake so you basically just put a little bit and the cake will peek through and that's the point of a naked cake and I think those cakes are so pretty especially the wedding cakes oh my god they're so pretty and then they put flowers on it and everything it's so beautiful freaking gorgeous so we're going to continue to do this all around Okay, so now that we're done frosting it, and you can see there's a lot of like empty spots on it, like right here, but it really doesn't matter. You can just put more if you want. I want to do a naked cake. You don't have to, but that's the way. I figured it would, I feel like it would look cute if I do it like a naked cake. So now that we're done with that, and if you're baking a cake for someone else, don't lick your hands. It's not sanitary, but the only ones that's going to eat it is my husband and my kids, and we, you know. We share freaking everything, so it's fine. I have a little bit of frosting left over from the cake after I already frosted it and everything. I'm going to put this in the microwave for a few seconds so it can melt and get runny because we're going to want it to drizzle all over the cake. So now I already warmed up my the remaining frosting so I can turn this into blood. And it's actually where I want it. It looks like the, um, the frosting to... The freaking what do you call it the cinnamon rolls that's what it looks like to me so I use the Wilton frosting frosting the Wilton food coloring because this is really really pigmented potent whatever you want to call it I don't know um, and this is the one that you literally just put your toothpick in and it'll like dye it for you so I'm gonna make a little hole because I don't want all this to leak everywhere and I'm gonna stick to stick the toothpick in I'm getting like that much because I want this to look like blood blood so let's put that in there and let's see if that's the color I need mm, it's not blood not yet so we're gonna keep mixing it 
until I get the color I want. And for starters, I'm mixing with the wrong damn thing. Let me get a spoon. From my dishwasher. Okay, so. There we go, that's better. But it's not red. I need it red like. This looks like my shirt, dude. No. I need this shit red, red like. Michael Myers came up in this bitch and stabbed me red. <gasps> Should I be sticking that back in there? I should not be sticking that back in there. I should be using a new toothpick. I just contaminated my freaking food coloring. Yo, this is not turning red. <laughs> what the fuck? It says Christmas red. That is blood red. If you want to be technical, it does look kind of like blood. This shit is not red. This shit is fucking pink. Let's see if I can like. Once you add more, it does look red, but shit, you're gonna have to add like a lot of food coloring just to make this as red as I want it. That's a lot. A few moments later. The cake out of the way, several drops later, I finally got it to a red. It's not the red I wanted it to be, but it's gonna have to do because this is the closest I can get to it. So now we're gonna dump that in here. Let's see if I don't make a mess. Cause my name is Emma and I make a mess all the time. So let's see how this goes. That's my side. So now that we have our color, we're going to drizzle it on the cake. I'm trying to shake it while it's in the bottle. Look, it's freaking red. Yes. That's what I wanted. So now we're just going to get it. Another quick shake. And we're literally just going to drop it anywhere. So it looks like blood. It doesn't have to look like actual blood, but just drop it. See, looks kind of like blood. Literally gonna drizzle this all over like that. All right, let me turn the cake somewhere. And if you see any spots that you think it needs more, then you just add more. Like right here, it needs a little more. And right there, isn't there? It needs more. Yeah, so it kind of looks like a bloody cake. I feel like I'm gonna turn it this way. And then you can just squeeze a little bit on the top or as much as you want on the top. Like that. Add some more drops there. There. Okay, so now with the remaining frosting, we're going to spread it on top so we can get that little blood effect. Not really. We're just going to spread it on top, though. Spread, spread, spread. The only thing I'm afraid of is that I'm going to freaking get, like, the white frosting. But it's not. Okay. Make sure there's no white peeking through. We want it to look red. We already finished the cake. I'm trying to pick what side I like the best. I think I like this side better. All we're gonna do is grab any knife and then just press it in like that. It's so cute. I'm, I love it. Okay, this came out freaking cute. Okay, so now move this out of my face. Okay, so now that it is done, there's a little bit of freaking frosting in here and I'm just gonna like drizzle it on the knife if it, only if it comes out, but it's probably not. Oh, 
Oh, it's coming out. It's just taking a fucking hour to come out. There it goes. And then I'm just going to drizzle it. Ew, it's on pelo. <laughs> but I'm trying to like squeeze some on the knife, you know? To make it look realistic. Hold on, let me see if I can just drizzle some on there. Kind of looks cool. Not really. It's just. Alright, so I'm going to put a little bit more on this side right here. Because this is going to be my front of the cake, basically. I can get it to freaking drop. There we go. Oh, that is it. Let's see. Oh, it looks freaking cool. I love it. Okay. So this is what my cake looks like when it's done. I think it looks cute. I don't know. Maybe if I didn't do it as a naked cake, it probably would have looked better. But I think it looks cute like this very simple it's something easy too like if you are throwing a last minute halloween party or whatever that would be a go-to cake i feel i feel like it'd be good so i'm not gonna take a bite i don't want to spoil my dinner i'm trying to keep it in the frame but not be in my face so as much as i want to i can't i am watching what i eat really no i'm not but i just don't want to spoil my dinner i'm actually gonna start dinner after this so i don't want to ruin it by eating dessert first um but this was fun it was really quick it literally took me maybe i don't know because of course once i speed it up and everything for the video it's going to be less but maybe a good 20 minutes at the most it really didn't take that long so i said this is a really simple cake and it looks pretty cool too that's gonna go ahead and end today's video i hope you guys enjoyed today's video of the cake tutorial cake decorating whatever you want to call it i hope you guys enjoyed it it was fun for me i love baking i love decorating cakes it's one of my literally like one of my favorite favorite things to do um i might actually throw in a couple pictures of cakes that i have done before so you can see other things that i have done before or other cakes that i have made and decorated before um but yeah so if you did enjoy this video give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already turn on your post notifications so you do get notified every time i post a new video and if there is any particular videos you would like to see drop it down in the comment box below and thanks for watching bye